Hello. While teaching physics and during kinematics, I found this problem and uh, this question has changed uh, my study material about point object. I felt we miss something to explain about point object. In which of the following cases, case or cases, a body is considered to be a point object? So there are some cases given. So generally what we used to do, we consider a point object if an object has negligible size, that of the distance covered by it. That's a simple definition. A railway carriage moving without jerk between two stations. Yeah, of course, it is a point object. A monkey sitting on the top of a man cycling smoothly on a circular track. Of course, a spinning. Oh, it is not looking like spinning. I have tried my level best so that it can be visible. Now, a spinning cricket ball that turns sharply on hitting the ground. So it is also looking like a point object. A tumbling beaker that has slipped off the edge of the table. In the, this case, uh, I don't think so. This is a point object. But actually, C is also not a point object. Uh, because in this case, the distance travel is not uh, large enough. But why? And why is there the requirement of this additional term without jerk? What if it is moving with jerks? So, and uh, what about this? When cycling smoothly, if is not cycling smoothly, then what? So we need certain discussions about point object. So what should we include in the definition of a point object? What is a point object? What is a point? Point means zero dimension. Zero dimension means neither it has length nor it has breadth. That is a body can be moved uh, along a path and it can have some other dimensions also some other dimensional motion also so to ful fulfill the requirement of an object to be treated as a point object it is not enough to say that it should cover large distance comparable to its size so what else we can say that uh, it should neither oscillate nor vibrate. I mean, in any other direction, in any other dimension, it should not have any motion. Then it will be considered as a point object. So, if it is moving in any other uh, dimension also, so we have to consider that dimension also. Is in that dimension its motion its uh, distance covered is uh, large enough than its size or not. First case, railway carriage moving without jerks. If it is moving with jerks, then during jerks, it will move like if it is moving along this direction. So it will move along this direction also. In this case, its distance traveled is uh, will not be uh, large enough than its size. Then it will not be considered as a point object. A monkey sitting on the top of a man cycling smoothly. If not smoothly, then monkey might move here and there. There must be some jerks. Its motion will be in other dimension also. So it is not considered, it will not be considered as a point object then. A spinning ball. It is spinning. So uh, uh, the modified definition does not allow this. A tumbling beaker that is directly it is tumbling so there should be there must be some turning effect some kind of rotation and all that so in that case for a given condition it is moving without jerks definitely here we can consider uh, that carriage as a point object and monkey sitting on a top of man cycling smoothly on a circular track it will also be considered as a point object but not here and not here because they give us a hint of some other dimensional motion also which is not uh, large enough than the size of that object. So I'm writing a modified definition of a point object here. So a point object refers to an object 
whose any kind of motion should cover a distance in such a way that its size is vanishingly small in comparison to it. So I hope you liked the video and you had a new look to the point